The United Nations University Institute for Water, Environment and Health, hosted in Canada through the Department of Foreign Affairs, Trade and Development, applies itself to practical research and research to policy bridging in order to realise the vision of a world free of water problems. In partnership with private sector, Canadian and international universities and also international government and local partners, we have been supported in particular by a Government of Canada Grand Challenges grant where we've developed an approach to sanitation using the premise that revenue from human waste byproducts can catalyse and subsidise increased sanitation coverage and drive economic growth. As is the case with many low and middle income countries, Uganda faces challenges in achieving national development and environmental targets. A critical barrier to progress is insufficient funding to meet targets. As many as 20 million rural Ugandans do not have access to improved sanitation facilities. This translates to national economic losses of approximately $180 million every year and accounts for more than 70% of the national disease burden. A very real outcome, the deaths of almost 20,000 Ugandan children each and every year from diarrhoea is too high a price to pay. In addition to poor sanitation facilities, average monthly cooking fuel costs can consume as much as 40% of the household budgets. One solution is that human waste can be broken down or digested into energy and fertilizer products through the process of anaerobic digestion, whereby the process occurs in oxygen-free or anaerobic conditions. What happens is it comes from there, it gets digested here without oxygen, and that's what produces the gas. And then it keeps, as it's got all of the gas out, and you can use it for the kitchen, then it keeps going into these, and that's where it just, it keeps getting treated and the pathogens die off more and more and more, and it becomes richer and richer in nutrients as, as the mass decreases, and then you end up with it in the final tank, which is where they pump it from. And what treats it in these tanks too? What is it's the... all it's all natural. It's, oh, it's all it's natural. bacteria. So is this is this the organic matter now digested? Exactly. Uh, this is uh, digested. But uh, what this uh, buffer reactor does, or oh, we can call it uh, an expansion chamber, <laughs> it prolongs uh, the effluent retention time, uh, so that all the pathogenic bacteria mm -hmm. can be worked on for for the day. Uh, the final holding chamber. So is it only used as fertilizer? The no, last? no, it what can else? be used. You can dry it and make it into briquettes for fuel. Yes. If you start to sell it, would it be an income generating no, uh, for, yeah, the it would be, yeah, for the school? For the school. Yeah. This translates into three important aspects. The first is green energy and a reduced dependency on wood fuels. The second is fertilizer and improved soil quality and crop productivity. And finally, a cleaner environment and healthier people through the proper disposal of human waste. The resulting revenue and health benefits increase economic productivity and relieve burdens currently placed on women, including vulnerabilities associated with finding a safe and dignified location to relieve themselves every day. It has reduced the expenditure of money on fuel. It also has reduced the people who cook food all the amount of work they do that is now simpler. The time of cooking has, has been reduced and therefore children can go to class on time and therefore it has also increased the performance of the children because now if everything is going well, the performance will be well. The teachers will come on time, children will not get, will not come late, will not be absent from classes. They will be regular. In what? In the classes, in, 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 in school. They will not drop off school, and therefore we shall have girl child in school. Maybe the government should do that one and introduce biogas flat beans, which will also reduce on the number of people who follow sick. Because now, pieces are properly collected somewhere other than dropping it to find a village here and there. That would be my recommendation. If we can install uh, these uh, systems, in uh, communities, schools, uh, prisons, uh, landing sites. I hope it could be a feature of a better sanitation, especially in the developing world. The bottom line is that through Waste to Wealth, we can catalyze and finance social development and economic growth 
through implementation of anaerobic digestion as a sector response to current sanitation challenges facing Uganda and other countries around the world.